we're asked to solve the system and parameterize the solution, and then express the solution in the form shown below. Notice how we have three equations and five unknowns. To solve the system, we will set up a three by six augmented matrix, and then write the augmented matrix in reduced row echelon form. I highly recommend labeling the columns of the augmented matrix to keep things organized. For example, notice the first equation is z minus two w equals negative three. And therefore the coefficients of x and y are zero, the coefficient of z is one, the coefficient of w is negative two, there is no u term and therefore the coefficient of u is zero and the constant is negative three. The second equation does contain all the variables. The coefficient of x is one, the coefficient of y is negative one, the coefficients of z and w are both one, the coefficient of u is negative one, and the constant is two. And now for the third equation, notice how we are missing the w term. The coefficient of x is two, the coefficient of y is negative two, the coefficient of z is three, the coefficient of w is zero, the coefficient of u is negative three, and the constant is three. Next, we write the augmented matrix in reduced row echelon form, which I've already done. Before we write the equations for each row, Let's begin by identifying the pivots. These will be the first non-zero entries in each row. Notice we have a pivot in row one, column one, row two, column three, and row three, column five. This tells us the pivot columns are column one, column three, and column five, and therefore the basic variables or leading variables are x, z, and u which means the remaining variables, y and w, are the free variables. Let's go ahead and write the equation for each row. Row one indicates that x minus y plus three w is equal to three. The second row indicates that z minus two w equals negative three. The third row indicates that u equals negative two. And because y and w are the free variables, they can take on any values, so we can say y equals y and w equals w. The next step is to write the leading variables of x, z, and u in terms of the free variables y and w, which means for the first equation, we add y to both sides and also subtract three w to both sides which gives us x equals three plus y minus three w. The second equation, we add two w to both sides to solve for z. z is equal to negative three plus two w. Third equation is u equals negative two. Fourth equation remains y equals y and the fifth equation remains w equals w. So this would be one way to express all these solutions to the given system. However, we're asked to express the solution in the form of a vector equation or matrix equation, where this first column matrix will be the constants in each of the equations for the variables. The second column matrix will be the coefficients of y. The third column matrix will be the coefficients of w. So because we have x equals three plus y minus three w, we enter three in the constant column matrix. We enter a one for the coefficient of y in the second column matrix, and we enter a negative three for the coefficient of w in the third column matrix. The next variable is y, and since y is equal to y, the constant term is zero, the coefficient of y is one, and the coefficient of w is zero. Next we have z, z equals negative three plus two w, the constant is negative three, the coefficient of y is zero, the coefficient of w is two. Next we have w, w equals w, the constant is zero, the coefficient of y is zero, the coefficient of w is one. And finally we have u, and u is equal to negative two, negative two is the constant, the coefficient of y is zero, the coefficient of w is zero. And now we have the solution expressed in the form as directed. This first column matrix can be called the particular solution, and the column matrices that represent the coefficients of y and w are called the basic solutions. When the second and third column matrices are multiplied by y and w, we can call the sum the solution set to the corresponding 
homogeneous system. That would be when all three equations in the system are equal to zero on the right. I hope you found this helpful.